I blow a T-Plex. Your boy, you see next how that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell with bath and body works. It's sad and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive-bys and don't own the whip. Time comes, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony, cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. Man, breaking uh, news today about uh, Tax Stone getting 35 joints for um, the manslaughter of Banger, you know, um, that was, you know, the whole Troy Yap situation. Um, rest in peace, Banger. That was a dude that got killed in the whole situation. And um, Tax Stone basically received 35 years. Now, I ain't going to hold you. I didn't think he was going to get that much time. You feel me? 35 is, is I would think that that's kind of crazy for a situation that in some parts is kind of based in in self-defense you feel me but um you know the the law and and these cases and how they work it's, it's a tricky thing and it comes down to a lot of particulars you feel what i'm saying so it's just one of them things where you know the, the justice system is going to do what they do and you just have to look at the case and just kind of understand why sentences like that are given out you get what i'm saying um this is the thing man and i i'm i I feel like if when i when i do say this i'm going against the grain somewhat but i'm just an honest individual man that's all i am I'm, i'm an honest person i look at things for what they are i don't get too caught up in you know uh the bandwagon following that people build and you know what people perceive things to be via the internet like i look at stuff for like what stuff really is you feel what i'm saying and i feel like this man a lot of y'all grew to know tax stone from seeing how quote-unquote real he kept it in terms of his podcast and you know stuff like that like y'all wasn't around on twitter back in like oh nine oh ten um 2011 when he was really just like starting shit with people you know and talking crazy to people for no reason like you know and i'm I'm even somebody who you know me and him kind of you know had a little clash on twitter or whatever the case was and it's like when you look at the situation for what it is this this was a prime example of of a crash dummy this is the prime example of a of a person who crashed out because of social media you understand the exact shit we talk about when niggas are doing too much online? This this is the end result. Like, this is the one of the, well, I can't say a few because there's been a ton of situations that um done escalated because of social media. But I think this would be the most prominent one. Like, this is the most prominent situation where two, quote unquote, I, I, I really don't want to say celebrities because the niggas are not celebrities. They're, they're not, well, they're not Kim K and Kanye level celebrities, but they're still celebrities nonetheless. they still people who can go places and, you know, be pointing out like, yo, that's Troy Yav, yeah, yo, that's Tax Stone. So, in, in some shape, form, or fashion, they are celebrities, right? But the problem is, um, th- these are two guys from Brooklyn, both have platforms, and this issue all started because of social media. This started from from tax being a, a troll, like literally being a troll. He just a, a more aggressive troll. You understand because you know he got the rough jail background and, and all that other shit. You you see the video of on YouTube of him holding the gun and he's singing the Dell and you know that that was funny. You feel me? But this is somebody who gets on extra tough type timing with you know his trolling and what it did was it caused him to run into somebody who wasn't going to back down you feel me i'm pretty sure troy Ave is not the only person that tax stone pissed off you understand it just happens to be the one person that he ran into that was pretty much on the same type time he was 
you get what I'm saying? And look where it landed both of them. You feel me? Like, Troy Aff, he got to do jail time too. You get what I'm saying? I think he got to do like a couple of years or so. But this is like when we are, are telling people to chill out on social media, like let's say somebody says something to another big name person or whatever on social media and you see niggas in the comments like chill you don't need to be doing this etc etc that's why people are saying that so it doesn't escalate and so niggas don't either lose their lives or have to go to jail because of some stupid ass computer internet twitter finger shit you feel me this tax stone and troy ab shit was completely unnecessary and it's something that could have been avoided these niggas ain't get no money together like they didn't really have a reason to be going at each other aside from shit that was said on the internet. You understand? And as somebody like Tag Stone who was, was causing all these problems and going crazy at people, when I see that the judge gave him 35 years, I'm not looking at the case. You understand? I'm not just looking at the case. I'm looking at the person and who the person was overall and how they contributed and, and how their overall character contributed to this sentence that they got you understand i'm, I'm sorry but it's it's, it's, it's it's a fitting one you understand because you're somebody who already got a jail background you've already been to jail you already got uh felonies and stuff like that you understand so you decide to start doing this social media shit you decide to get on tough type timing with people because you think you just like the roughest toughest gangster in the world and that everybody's going to stand down you might have a couple of tough guys around you xyz but then you run into somebody who don't care about none of that. You get what I'm saying? And this is the end result. So, you know, I, me, me personally, man, I, I just, like I said, don't have any sympathy for the situation. I, I just don't like sympathy for, for Banger and his family because at the end of the day, they're the ones that lost somebody. You understand? But they lost somebody who got in the middle of social media bullshit. Like they lost their life because of social media bullshit you understand and this this is the, the accountability is to be had on both sides both troy ave and tax stone because both played a part in it you know tax stone obviously played a bigger part when you can say like you, you was tweeting somebody damn near 800 times that's crazy that's insane that is some like next level stalker type shit like and, and this is not opinion this is facts this is court documents how would you feel if you watching this? How would you feel someone tweeted you 800 times? That's ridiculous. You understand what I'm saying? So like, you know, and, and, and all 800 times is them, you know, downing you or trying to, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. And that's like just that. That's just a whole nother level of just like, you know, trying to, to prey on someone's downfall. You get what I'm saying? So. You know, you, you got to take stuff like that into consideration. Like I said, I, I look at shit as a realist, man. I don't got no 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 bias in, 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 the, in the situation. I think both niggas are bozos. You understand? I've, I've sat and watched since 09, 010. Both of these niggas do wild shit that's like, all right, come on. You feel what I'm saying? From from Troy Ave mentioning, uh, who was it? Uh, Capital Steve's, you know, the, the, when he was going that Joey Badass. Um, Troy have the, the Manolo Rose shit. Like he's had a bunch of situations where it's like, bro, you 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 just showing your your true character and your true colors. And you know, again, the tax stone nigga too. You feel me? Like while Troy Ave shit is based in you know the the shit he's doing behind music, tax stone shit is based in what he was doing on social media in terms of just you know this whole tough guy act, this whole jail act, like. Bro, the nigga tweeted me <laughs> when me and him got into it. Like, he was going to fucking piss on me or some shit like that. And it's like, what? Can't even, like, I, I'm, I've been outside for real. Like, I can't even take you serious. You claim to be a, a person who got this background and you're doing this on social media. You understand what I'm saying? So that that's me. I don't, I don't get caught up in the whole jail perspective that a lot of people you know get caught up in like people on the internet when when you say you you've been to jail and you xyz like people who have this this sensationalism with it like they're they're amazed by it so you you build a following 
based off of you being this quote unquote jail nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But a person like me who don't care about none of that because that that let me tell you that jail shit don't mean nothing. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care how many what Cameron said. I don't care where you been or what jails. Go tell Disney all your fucking ducktails. Like that shit don't mean shit to nobody. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit. You went to jail. You don't come out Iron Man. You come out still a regular human who can get punched in the face, who can get clapped, and who can get the the same treatment any other human out here can get. You feel what I'm saying? So that jail shit don't be meaning nothing. And for some reason, y'all feel like it gives y'all some sort of suit of armor when y'all dealing with these regular ass people who don't know nothing about the trenches and don't know nothing about the streets. But to a person who really come from that shit don't mean nothing. You just another nigga that just came home. You get what I'm saying? Like you might get a couple of stripes or whatever for the pain you put in. But what do that mean? Tough people die too. You feel me? Cemetery full of a bunch of tough, dead people. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, y'all have to stop giving stuff like that a platform just because it has that kind of background to it. Because at the end of the day, what are you actually contributing aside from being a tough guy? Are you actually like giving a credible opinion? Like, are you what else comes with that? You get what I'm saying? Like, stop just basing so much credibility off the fact that they've been to jail. I, I, I did eight hours in the precinct. And, 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 am I tough? Like, uh, was I supposed to come out of there feeling like the Terminator? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's just stupid. It's stupid, the stuff that people sensationalize. And then when y'all sensationalize this uh, kind of behavior, y'all give it a cult following, these people feel like they can just do whatever to anybody because they just feel like, oh, they just this rough and tough person and they just have to portray that in every situation and then it leads to what happened to him and Troy Ass. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, that that's just one of them things that it's, it's, it should be a lesson to a lot of people. It should be a lesson to a lot of people. Don't crash out because of social media. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. And I don't want it to sound like I got anything against Tax Stone or, you know, nothing like that because I don't. I don't know the man from a hole in the wall. Never met him in person. The most interaction we had was some bullshit back and forth on Twitter. You feel me? But me actually having been through shit like before social media, I see where that behavior leads. You, 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 you never see the, the, the wild, tough guy in your projects that's always... Uh, rampaging and, and talking crazy and yelling and blah 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 you know what usually happens to them they, they usually end up getting hurt don't they they usually end up hurt in jail doing some dumb shit like that's where those guys always end up so when I see that same shit on social media I already know them people are gonna suffer the same fate you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all just got to be careful with what y'all doing on these computers, man. Stop. You know, and I, I've done it, too. I've had my situations of, you know, going back and forth with people and shit like that. But I always do it in a manner where it's not going to cause me to crash out. Like, I'm not crashing out about no issues that I've had on, on social media with nobody. You feel what I'm saying? I got into my one situation, beat a nigga up, and that's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to jail. I'm not killing nobody. Like just not doing that for what you feel what i'm saying like it's, it's never worth it and even if i was to to lose a fight okay cool i lost the fight i'm probably gonna get on camera and be the first one to joke about it like damn nigga beat me up <laughs> you feel what i'm saying so you know that's just what it is but all these crash dummies on, on social media <laughs> y'all niggas need to relax man y'all need to relax focus on what you trying to focus on in social media build your following, you know, doing something, show some talent or some kind of skill or whatever. But aside from that, man, it, this shit don't be worth it. It just don't. You feel me? Troy, I have lost a, a friend of his. Tax Stone lost, about to lose 35 years off his life. You feel me? He, you know, he say he's not doing 35. Well, yeah, he's not going to do 35 because he already been sitting in jail for like six or seven years. So going to do about, what, 28, you know, you got good behavior, maybe 26, 25, you know, but still too long. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just my thoughts on that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll highlight y'all soon, man. Mercy, Trap New York shit. Mercy, TV.com. I'm out of here.